Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review video for y'all today on the Too Faced Christmas in New York The Chocolate Shop set. So this is what the outside box looks like here. So this has become a little bit of a tradition on my channel. You know, I have reviewed Too Faced holiday sets since the very first year I started my channel. So I've reviewed at least a couple of them every single year. So it's a little bit nostalgic. It's a little bit of a tradition. I always love these sets and I love reviewing them for you guys. So, and you guys seem to really enjoy the reviews. So we're doing it again this year. So we've got this one today that we're gonna talk about. We're gonna do like we normally do in my review videos. We're gonna look at the packaging, talk about the pricing, look at swatches. I'll talk about kind of like comparisons between shadows in this set versus like other Too Faced sets or even maybe other um, shadows that you have in your collection. Just kind of like, are these dupable kind of, you know, discussions. So yeah, lots to talk about, so let's jump into it. Starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this set is $58. I got mine from Sephora. You already saw the outside box. I love the back though, because you can see exactly what you're getting in this set. You're getting a lot of stuff in this set for the $58. There are 21 eyeshadows, three face products, a deluxe size sample of the Melted Lipstick in Chocolate Milkshake, a deluxe size sample of the uh, Shadow Insurance, and also a deluxe size sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara. So lots of stuff in this set. Really cute outside box. You get a little pamphlet in here with some really pretty makeup looks that have just adorable names like Desserts on Me, Cocoa Pop, Ginger Doodle, and Sugar Bells. So really pretty makeup looks. So that's always a nice little added detail when they do that because it kind of gives you some ideas and inspiration of looks that you can create with this set. And then the actual box itself looks like this just precious. It looks like a little present, super duper cute. The lid comes off and then you open it up. So it's just adorable. Too Faced just knocks it out of the park with their packaging, both in their regular line and in their limited edition stuff. Their holiday sets especially are just always so cute, feminine, happy, pretty, just cute packaging. I love it. And then you open it up and it looks like this. So it kind of looks like a little city, like they're just kind of walking along, looking in the chocolate shop. So that's super cute. And all the um, deluxe size samples are up here and then the palette is down here. So we're gonna run through the samples. You get the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This isn't my personal favorite eye primer. It just doesn't seem to work quite as well for me as some others, but I feel like eye primers are such a personal thing. Like it's just about what your eyelid situation is and what primers work best for that. So for me, this isn't my personal favorite, but it might be for you, so it's nice that it's included. Um, you do get the Better Than Sex Mascara. I do really like this mascara and just what it does for the lashes. Really nice length, really nice volume, but it does smudge on me. But most mascaras smudge on me, so take that with a grain of salt. And then you get the um, Melted Chocolate in Chocolate Milkshake. So that's really cute, and that's in comparison to the full size. So here's the mama size, here's the big B. Really, really cute. Let me do a little swatch for you of this so you can see what this looks like. This is actually the only one of the melted chocolates that I have, um, and it was my favorite of the group. I really want honey as well. That one seems really, really pretty, but it's just a beautiful kind of like terracotta, nude brown sort of color. It's really, really beautiful, and it's nice that they picked a nude, so you know, or kind of a more like light brown. It's really kind of a light brown sort of a shade, which is nice because it goes with most everything that you could create with this eyeshadow palette. So like as you create different looks, you've got a color that's probably gonna work for most of those looks. And the part that we're probably all most excited about is the palette itself. So you get all of your eyeshadows on this side and then you get your three face products over here. So, just really adorable to look at and just a really nice selection of colors in this palette. I mean, you've got some really beautiful neutrals. You've got um, some really fun colors down here. There are light shades for brow bone highlights. There are transition colors. There are darker colors in here for deeping up your outer corner or doing a smoky eye. Um, just a really nice selection of colors. So I think they did a great job of picking what to put in this palette. And then you've got your um, face products. The only thing I have to say about the face products, these pans are a little bit small. I mean, they're not ridiculously small, but I was having to be a little bit careful when I was getting um, the blush on my brush because it's right next to that really dark color and bad things could happen if I accidentally got that on the blush brush <laughs> and put that on my face. So um, 
a little bit small, but not like ridiculously small. You just might have to use a slightly smaller brush for it. Okay, now for some swatches. So we're gonna go down the left side of the palette first. So this is Desserts on Me, Raspberry Rose, Sugared Raisin, Glaze, Cake Batter, that is Butterscotch, Banana Date, <laughs> super cute name, Sugar Bells, and Mint Chip. So that is the left side of the palette. Next row, this is Indulge, Guilt Free, Ginger Doodle, Toffee Crunch, Honey Dip, Jingle Berry. Next row, this is Cookie Dough, Tootsie, Chocoholic, Lava Cake, Pound Cake, and Huckleberry. All really nice. Um, I would say this one is a little bit of a problem shadow. That one is Cookie Dough. It really kind of doesn't show up very well at all. But other than that, I would say that's really the only kind of meh shadow. All the rest of them seem to swatch really, really nicely. And lastly, the face products. This is Inner Light, really pretty highlighter. Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, my favorite bronzer ever. And then this is Chocolate Covered Strawberry. That blush is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's just like a glowy, pink shade. It is beautiful. I love that one. Talking about formula and performance. I found these to be a really nice formula, really pigmented, buttery, really nice texture to them. They blend really well. They were fun to work with on the eyes. They didn't like frustrate me in any way. They were just fun shadows to use. The face products work really nicely. So I found this to be really nice quality. That's kind of always a question mark of is this holiday set going to be the same quality as the permanent line? In my opinion, this is absolutely the same quality. So I'm super impressed with the quality and just how they work, the formula, the performance, it's definitely there. Something else to definitely note about this set is that if you are a makeup collector or a Too Faced palette and set collector, you probably have quite a few similar shades to this palette. Like I was trying to look through and find a bunch of similar shades and I was finding so much that we would be here for a really long time if we talked about similar shades, not dead on dupes. You know, when I say dupe, I'm thinking like, it has to be really, really close. So I found several that were like, well, this is a mid-tone brown and this is a mid-tone brown. Well, this is a transition shade and this is a transition shade. But I wasn't finding like a ton of dead on dupes, but you probably are gonna get the same, you could get definitely get the same kind of eye looks using probably others that you have in your collection. So I would say like, are they super duper unique? Not really, but they are really beautiful. Now I do wanna note several that if you have um, quite a few Too Faced palettes, you've probably seen really, really similar, if not dead on dupes to these right here. So this one is Sugared Raisin. So this has been called um, like Marvelous in some other palettes. It's just that kind of like, um, I don't know, glittery, shimmery, sort of light purple, really pretty. This one is Honey Dip from this palette. If you have a Too Faced palette or pretty much any other neutral palette, you probably have a golden shade that looks like this. This one is Huckleberry. Now, as I've gotten into this one, it's not showing as much of the shimmer, but it's kind of that deep um, purpley plum or like a blackened plum with some shimmer in it. That one has been in several palettes, like um, it was called Jungle Love in La, Ma La Maison. La Maison, I don't remember how to say that. Um, it looks really close to Talk Derby to Me from the Sweet Peach palette. So that one's probably um, a pretty good repeat from some um, other palettes. This one is Banana Date. You really can't see it because it matches my skin tone, but it's just kind of like a creamy sort of shade. That one is really close to um, Tufted Suede from La Belle Carousel and Coconut Cream from Semi Sweet. Now these are just some examples. They probably appear in other palettes as well. The Inner Light Highlighter, that one has appeared um, multiple places. And then Chocolate Soleil, of course, that's been in a lot of palettes and it's also sold individually. So those are just some ones to note that those are probably the most repeated. So as far as like how unique these are, possibly not very unique, but they are still really beautiful and 
I'm glad that they included these colors. I mean, I always want a transition shade, regardless of if I have a transition shade in, an, in another palette or not. You know what I mean? So, not super duper unique necessarily, but still really beautiful. So my overall review on this set is that I really love it. I think it's really nice quality. I think it's just super cute to look at and just an adorable, fun set. So I'm really enjoying it. I would highly recommend it to you guys. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you were thinking about all the holiday sets that are coming out. I know it's crazy to talk about that already because it's still so early, but they are all releasing, so I would love to know your thoughts on them. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!